But I will continue to roll the camera like this so that the world knows that there is a danger. Mm -hmm. Just hold it like that. So let me see. Um, there is a current SOS. There is a situation, as I speak to you right now, uh, where the federal government of Nigeria have tried to invade, and we are telling the world that uh, the war that the federal government is waiting for might start today. The war that the federal government thinks that they are expecting from the Yoruba people, let's tell the whole world. As I speak to you right now, there is an ongoing incident as I speak to you right now. But we are more than capable enough. So right now, I'm telling the whole Yoruba across the whole Southwest that we will shut down the whole Southwest today. The whole Southwest will go on a total shutdown. Elephomeni, Elephomeni, the tripod. Elephomeni, the tripod. So be shame by sorrow right now. There's an ongoing situation right now. This is an uh, uh, SOS, an emergency. But we are capable enough. That is so full. The federal government, the fraudulent government, that I want every buff our life. I want she answers. We've told you that before. And today will be the beginning of the problem that the federal government of Nigeria is waiting for. If the federal government thinks that we will take it easy with them. We are not going to take it easy with them. And we will deal with them. No, it's life. Oh, it's just move back, please. So, I rule it's okay. So, we will leave the camera like this so that you... We've told you that... Um, Federal government does not know who they are dealing with. If they know who they are dealing with, so we roll the camera like this. Yeah. Once again, Mubaije, um, let the state let the state know that. Um, the world will watch as things are happening. But we will leave the camera as it is like this. Yeah, just bring it closer to me. So. Habarokwe, Ama Wani Biti, Ama Kawa Molo Yuji. Ama, eh, Lamuke Jiwa. Yes, you don't worry about that. I want to ask you a question. I feel good. I feel good. when you So let's leave the camera like this. Yeah. So share the broadcast as usual. This is to tell the world that the we can handle the situation, but we will roll the camera as it is, like this, so that the world knows that anybody fear Jogunwe, our CBT Ile Kunwa, Koye Yunisin. Yeah. So just leave it like that. Okay, just leave it like that, whatever. So once again, my name is Olayomi Koiki, and. Um, as I speak to you right now, the, the situation is under control, but we have the enemies that think that uh, we can be invaded, caught on guard. We cannot be caught on guard. That's what they don't understand. We cannot be caught on guard. But uh, we will tell them who we are. As of far as we know, uh, as far as we know, the situation will change. 
I like big kid to be in that day. Yeah. Yeah. I will kill it for the other day. Let me say, I think you will be more caro, Jerry. Nibi Kibiti will go about work way. A job at Nigeria. Tibu Guatima, a job at four one nine. a live broadcast my name is Olayo Mikoiki and as I speak to you right now we are sending a message to the federal government to your state governor uh, Bogbo Tabaro Pam of Fishy, Coyate, Murasida, that Ogunton Penny, a mouth from Gong Gong. So I get way, Ogunon Fed, we shut down the whole fucking country. The whole fucking country will be shut down. No movement. There will not be no movement in the air in the southwest. Nigeria mo Those are the I want the federal government in Rawa Tobarope. I will salute my gloom as our dear rule for the rest of our life as Yoruba people. We are telling them that we cannot be slaves in our land. We cannot be slaves on our land. The land belongs to us. The land does not belong to the Aousa people. So as I speak to every Yoruba sons and daughters, there is an ongoing situation, as I speak right now, that the federal government of Nigeria, the state governors, or your state governor, Lagos state governor, every single one of them is involved because they are part of the system as well. So right now, as I speak, uh, we are sending a message to the federal government that we will not back down on this Yoruba nation journey. Yoruba nation journey is not something we will back down on. We will stand firm. We will fight to the hand, to the last man standing. 
and that is what the federal government does not know. Right now, the federal government have decided to send their bulldogs. And those their bulldogs that they are sent would have to go uh, you know, to where they don't understand. So, our Duro, we're not going anywhere. This land belongs to the Yoruba. Uh, the soldiers, the military, that the federal government and the state governor or your state chief, uh, the chief Makinde, they are all, you know, thinking that they can take us on guard by coming at about almost the time now is 26 minutes past 2 a.m. As I report from you, uh, you'll be hearing the sound of gun. That is the federal government of Nigeria. Uh, you are hearing the sound of gun because the federal government of Nigeria have uh, decided to operate, and we are telling them that uh, you know operating on us. In Toshele Nipe, federal government in Rawanyawa, Kawa Kawa Moli, but what is by Nipe? Our gun Duro Lasson. So we go Iro, but then go in to look pa 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 pa. Our federal government, our Tano Rawani, Eba Mark Mweto, Eje Ki, we go by Iye Mark. We say. The go southwest could go on a total lockdown. Uh, that lockdown will start from today. We have told them that um, our generation of ever five, we have to see generation to tell it. We go to tell it. Fun and fun. And they basically far out. They say they say they say join one. We ni ita our our enemies, enemies of progress. They are already outside. Uh, they are trying to infiltrate uh, they are trying to infiltrate our uh, lobba one is in eripe awon lowa ba wa itori pe jeje wa la duro we have the right to determine whether we want to be part of nigeria or not that is our own right as people we don't want to do anything with them we have the right to say that we are not interested to be part of the country called nigeria and nobody can tell us why we should decide to be part of Nigeria, not even the governor, not even the senator. And that is our own right, the right that says, as Yoruba people, right, as, as, the, as the 28 minutes past two, Monday 26th of April, Bishimba Soro, federal government have decided to roll out their tank. And we are using this message, uh, you know, to send for many, a basket is a trick or swear. Fumin la bamin ba Nico Fumini down the other phones, the two are away. So, Bishem by in sorrow, a fin to Bubo or Mokaro, Jire, the federal government or your state governor and all the southwest governor have decided, you know, to come down on us. But what they cannot understand is coming down on us is not going to solve the problem on ground. They are probably going to waste more time because if they think that uh, what they are doing in the southeast is what they want to do in the southwest. I was afraid to let with Tobaro Perilla when she beset of Bellini, a half a year away as a cunye gong gong at the Bugbo into a cache, a one month a mache, but Bugbo call a mouse or lorry, eh? But we would leave the camera to roll so that the world knows that uh, the situation that we are facing will be transmitted live. If they like, uh, let them back down. If they like, let them continue to come with more extra force. The time is 2.30 a.m. This is not a movie. As of me, the movie is not what we are doing. A Yoruba nation, we cannot be threatened by the federal government, the state governor, whether it's the state, whether it's the federal, whether it's the, the military, whether it's the navy, we cannot be threatened. The land does not belong to the north. Awusa koloni lewa. Awusa kolu ni lewa awala ni le ilewa uri lewa de lawa so and we will continue to emphasize on that 
we are not interested in their restructuring. What you're watching is outside as I speak to you, you might be hearing the sound of guns. Yes, that is the federal government that have sent their bulldozer you know, to come down. We're not going anywhere. We will fight, not just from here, we will fight from Ekiti. Bugbo, Eloma Baradi, Eloma Mura, because the time must have probably arrived. If they don't want us to go in peace, we will do it the other way around. That is something that I have said continuously, and I'm not shy to say that. Tobana won't fair quick, I do it together, you know, and sort this out amicably. Then that means every Yoruba sons and daughters at home, Ogun today, Eloma Agbara di Ogun, Ogun today, the fight is not going to be from here alone. We will shut down the whole Southwest and let them know that we are not those that they think we are. We are doing the diplomacy. We are only going through the diplomacy because we believe that that diplomacy is the best option, is the best route. But if they don't want the diplomacy, that means we will decide how we want to operate and how we want to, you know, to, to continue you know, to, uh, with this uh, uh, agitation. Because what we are doing right now is we are saying, Tobaje awon oluwo Yoruba lo wa laarin e Tobaje awon ti wo joko sile lo ti plan ele awon ni come plan e but we are also telling every single one of them that this is what they called no retreat no surrender no retreat no surrender and that is exactly what is happening right now so like i said i will not give you so much information but what I can tell you is, behind all this fortified war, I want to get it in way. There's an ongoing situation that the federal government of Nigeria, the chief of defense staff, the Navy, and those that have planned with them are currently operating, you know, at a close, when I say close, close range with us. And that means they have decided to come and threaten us threatening to kill us, threatening to stop us from talking, threatening every single body. Tobarope, I want to threaten Baba Wachi Sunday Igbowo Irolokpa. You cannot threaten him, and neither can you threaten any other person as well. But right now, the situation is still ongoing. Uh, there's a lot of gunshots outside. Uh, you know that is uh, the federal government that have decided to bring their own. Uh, you know, bulldozer, as I would like to use that word. Otigbe and our military, we are Otigbe, we are going to war. We are not Agbara. We are going to war. Agbara. If it is man suffering, we are going. Allah only can do the Agbara. You know, the truth is, Agbara is the law of federal government. Federal government does not have the power. Federal government does not have the right to tell the Yorubas how we decide to live among ourselves. We are not going to live with them we are not interested to live with them this means that the peace that they don't expect us to continue will probably have to stop we will have to stop the engagement of peace and we might start doing what we think we have to do once again you're watching olayomiko Ike live from you know the southwest of nigeria where the federal government and all their military apparatus are currently you know operating outside while we continue to roll the camera and tell the world that the situation that the federal government have decided to come down. We are also using this opportunity to continue to tell those that believe in this shit old fucking country called Nigeria, right? That this country you call Nigeria, if they think that they can threaten us, millions of us will stand firm. But that is the job of the federal government. That is the sound that is currently ongoing as I speak to you right now. Uh, this is what we are saying for those of you that we have already said that the situation where the federal government thinks they can threaten everybody, you know, you cannot. You can do that with some average Nigerians that do not have common sense. You can do that with average citizens. But you cannot do that with every citizen at all. Every citizen, you cannot do so. And as I speak to you right now, the time is exactly 2.35 a.m. 
uh, the 26th of April. 20. I told you that Walati Ocean in the Southeast, all these problems that the government is putting in the Southeast, they've decided to come down now close to Southwest. But right now, I can tell you that uh, the, you know, the whole um, back end team, let me put it that way, the whole back end team are doing what they are meant to do. They are operating as how they are meant to operate. But right now, uh, the federal government wants to come down uh, and pick Chief Sunday at the Yemo Igbowo. They want to come down. Please, no one should call our line. This is not the time to call. We do not want to be distracted. We don't want to be called by anybody at all. So please do not call us. Hello, by the second one, Eliwa, because it's difficult for Elati. So, but right now, Bishiba Isoro, right? The federal government of Nigeria. Uh, and we are using this to send message across to all our network in the southwest to beef up their security around them. Whether you are in Ondo State, Tobaje Kwara Lewa, Kogi Lewa, Bogwa Pata Pata, Emura, Emura Ogun, Mitorikwe, Ogun Tife Wole, Waba, and this thing. And our federal government, Feko Ogun Wabawa, and we are not going to. Uh, okay. Um, so we the other tripod, eh, but eh, but uh, federal government is be ugunwa ba wa ba. I want them to be ugunwa ba one. It's only be in the nika she suru. I think she suru in the But right now, as I speak, there is an ongoing situation behind this fortified wall that you are watching me right now. Uh, the road team are in good condition. Chief Sunday Igbo is fine. I will not say more than that. But the federal government have decided to come and capture Chief Sunday Igbowo. They want to come and capture him, and they cannot capture him. Tabafi, they can get us while we are sleeping at 2.37 a.m., Monday 26th of April 2021. That is not going to happen. That is not going to happen. Let us tell the federal government. Let us tell them right now that all their dogs outside, all their Navy outside, and the governor of your state, is involved. I know that. Olori kori baba she imakin de yen. Ori e bori agbon. Moza fun yi kwe gbogbo yon pata pata. Lama fori fwa agbon. Gbogbo yi. Gbogbo yi pata pata. Oye yi nisin. Ori e bori agbon. Ori e bori agbon. To mama wo shuku shuku shuku. Gbogbo yi de le lo sodo. Baba wa to kuti e lo si. Te 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 en wo futu futu. Ati to wa le kiti o. Ati to wa londo. Ori gbogbo yi bori agbon. Be she mama wo bi o li. Eh. Se katori kwe e yi fe jaye. Ki a ye ki 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 ubomo yoruba ko ki ya ma je won iro le pa te ba ni e fe mu eni ola le ma mu e bo se ri ni yen e le meni ola le ma mu e bo ati so fun yin pe e gbugbo omo yoruba pata pata gbugbo yin e asiko yen o ti to e eleyo se oro ejo tori olorun itori pe to ba kogun wa ba yan e yan na ma mo to ma se awo ni lati so ta ma se fun won but awon lo kogun wa ba wa nisin stop abusing. Chief Sunday Chief and we have told you, Amadroti, we will stand with him. We will stand with him. Right? You cannot intimidate someone like Chief Sunday Gbowo that is fighting on behalf of every Yoruba sons and daughters. Every day is a lot of problems. And we are saying that we are not interested to be part of the shit old fucking country. The country that decided, you know, to have put you in more danger the country that allow disallow you the nepotism in the country the country that allows only the Aousa and the Fulani to continue to enjoy this country more than the remaining tribes a situation where every single one of them every single one of them is thinking every single one of them is thinking that they are more better than us as Yoruba people they are thinking that they are more better than us just right uh, the so, Tabaro, uh, you know, they are better off than us. They are joking. And that is why, you know, we are saying that, um,
As of one, they are dealing with the wrong generation. As I speak to you right now, the federal government of Nigeria, uh, the governor for your state, and all those that knows what is happening right now. The situation is, for those of you that have just joined us, as I speak to you, you might be hearing the sound of gone. That is not a toy. That is the federal government. Federal government is called operate outside. Uh, that is the situation as I speak to you right now. So uh, the federal government thought we are sleeping. They can come in the middle of the night and try to do damage uh, and try to kill the tea are tripod to Okay, so what you do is for you to blele. So let me hold that one back. I just hold that one properly. That just in the one face. Okay. So it means I want your fellow joy. In tone, she'll lay in it. Me, I'm a shala if we, but a oh, go to answer you. What it be the by all our politicians knows what is happening. Yeah, they know that. Yes, you're quite right. They know what is happening. Uh, they are all thinking that they can shut down Chief Sunday Gbowo from not talking. You don't want him to talk. You want him to keep quiet. You think that you can shut down Chief Sunday Gbowo from not talking. You think that you can bring the wall down to us and try to do damage. You cannot do so. It is not back in those days. As I speak to you, this is an ongoing situation at the 45 building, I'm going to just say that alone, at the 45 building of Chief Sunday Igbowu, where an attack by the federal government is currently ongoing, as I speak to you right now. The federal government have sent their bulldozer, uh, and they can't come down to any state without the sitting governor knowing what is happening as well. The sitting governor is aware of what is happening, so that means whatever you are hearing behind this wall, that is the federal government of Nigeria. They've sent down people to come and shut us down to come and tell us to keep quiet or to come and arrest Chief Sunday Igbowo, you cannot, you cannot arrest somebody that is fighting for the peace of his people. He's fighting for his people. And that is something platforms. Yes, we're back on again. Um, once again, Chief Sunday, Adeyemo, uh, Chief Sunday Igbowo, that the federal government thinks they can just come down, you know, in the middle of the night and pick him up, uh, you know, we are using this to to pass the message. Uh, the federal government of Nigeria thinks they can come in the middle of the night. Uh, nobody should call us. We are not taking any calls. Uh, just follow the broadcast. That's all you need to do. No one should call. We are not picking any calls. All we can only say is uh, this is an ongoing situation where uh, Chief Sunday Igbowu's residence has uh, been invaded outside, not inside. They can't get inside, but they will operate from outside. Uh, they will only operate from outside, but they cannot operate from inside. And justice is being done, you know, when uh, any Tobani, you know, Kinikwani, Emako Yoruba, Temi, Kodomono, Dada, but. So we should get in here. Let us see. Mo kibubu amo amokaro jirepe inten bolo rurui kunche film iru bonte ngotundu ta 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 ta. Federal government brought all their every machine gun to come and shut us down from not shouting Yoruba nation. That is too late at this junction. That is too late at this hour because we have decided that we are not part she told you about our chief sunday team so we won't pay she nigeria more no more she nigeria more nigeria is not working for the yoruba people ki awusa my law you know they can't continue to kill us they can't continue to threaten us and then bring that threat back into our backyard as well this institution is still ongoing we are still uh you know holding them we have pinned them down as well, we pin them down. Um, how many of them? I will not be able to tell you, but they've come down, you know, in their numbers. In their numbers, as I speak to you right now, uh, the reason why you are not hearing more of the sound right now is because I will not pin one down. Uh, so, and that is what they need to understand. I will not pin one. I will not 
gbogbo nto ma kunrin lati se la nse but awa ma duro we will stand with chief sunday gbowo we will stand with him not just chief sunday gbowo we will stand with iba gani adams we will stand with every yoruba sons and daughters but the situation you are hearing right now is an ongoing situation where the federal government of nigeria they've sent their military their navy all their special forces has been cooked by every single politician every one of them they know wants to invade us uh, so the situation is still ongoing as i speak to you right now uh, yes you know you know just understand facebook might start because of the gunshot that you're hearing that's why maybe facebook is controlling that sound so you're hearing the sound of a gun not a toy and that is the federal government you know unleashing so many of their weapons that they've used our money they want to invade and pick up chief sunday Bowo, and what we are saying is we will stand firm we will do the right thing that we need to do to defend ourselves and this is also to pass message to every yoruba sons and daughters especially Ile presently to beef up your security around your surrounding right now because if they can be doing this right now at this hour at this minute right close to our own resident or the same thing across the whole network so we are now sending a message to every yoruba sons and daughters to beef up now and prepare for the worst case scenario ejek are prepared for the worst case scenario this also yes they think that we are sleeping they think that you know we can just sleep and then you know uh, allow them to you know to drop you know their you know their fighter whatever that is outside what well, justice is being done as i speak to you uh you know they are in their numbers from what i've been told uh you know by some of our you know strong dedicated strong dedicated you know strong dedicated team uh be number for me side Special life one way. This there's an ongoing okay. One more. Len can see a one tea is job and all what we call a big baba chief Sunday go. Come up, sir. Abibeko, if you just sorrow, if you shot anyone, we come as sorrow. In your chief Sunday, boo, so the bad thing is, there's an ongoing situation. Lord of Abani say, it's a fun thing. There's an ongoing situation right now. Yeah, if you want life, you say my sorrow. So, but the situation is still ongoing. You say my sorrow, Abani say. All right then. Okay then. All right. So, Ile uh, Babawa Chief Sunday Gbowoni awon ijoba Nigeria ran awon bulldogs won wa eh nigba to ba ran won wa se woro pe a ma wa dake you think if you if you do this it will then say we should keep quiet you know we should stop what we are doing eh uh, kamaba i think to okay let's let's do this way so mo fe ko la ele gbe en so correct my gbe en baba eh so gbe en so ri bi won pe eh so that's it I'm not sure the other side. Shall I show by a Martin when I don't follow a Billy Danibai. So, Coco Billy Danibai. Len Conseil is an ongoing situation where the federal government have sent their bulldozer. Their bulldozer is operating outside while we are also. Shall we believe by? Shall we by? Shall we have a drone? Or a drone? Why do you have uh -huh. uh -huh. you might see that there's a lot of light coming from behind the scene. Don't quick by that, you are looking Okay. We say by the federal government of Nigeria uh, have sent their their bulldozer. So most of them will be more Yoruba to one Undo Kwara eco beef up your security because if they can be operating right close to chief sunday Bowo, they want to do the same thing across the remaining part of the yoruba land as well so 
We are using this opportunity to send message across to all our uh, hard-working warriors that are all over the place that the situation is an ongoing one. It's still an ongoing one uh, as I speak to you right now. The time now, uh, just for record purpose, is exactly 2.53 a.m. Uh, and the situation is still an ongoing one. It's very tense. Uh, and we are using this to say to every Yoruba sons and daughters that the situation that you are watching right now is a live broadcast where the federal government of Nigeria have sent their bulldozer to come and capture Chief Sunday Igbowo. They've told them that so tobacco they be by echo, echo lifted. Oh, I get be, oh, I get be baby, oh, I get be toy. You know, you think it's a toy. I'll be back. Oh, eh, what up? M wecky, eh, what up with toy name? Eh, what up with toy name? M wecky, eh, what up with toy name? Eh, I want it, I want it, came out. Eh, I want to go to the barber, me about two more. Eh, you put tobacco, they be by, oh, that be, oh, that be, oh, that be toy, oh, that be baby. They come out, they come out, well, they walk out, baby. It doesn't work like that. We have said that the country is not working. The North, the Aousa people holding the, the military, and all of the military, and all of the Navy, and all of the Air Force, and all of the Gugwe, it can't continue like this. And we are saying that, you know, I want Baba Wati to restructure Hey, restructure And that's the time now is there's not even time for restructuring. Restructuring is late. Restructuring is late. What we are saying now is we want a self determination. And then to one shop on first self determination, when I want you, in your lawa fit way, to buy the arrow, and near Gometa Filolu, near the 26th of your Monday, a echo out, if you are in Vedua. And we know, we know because we have been aware of all these that, uh, you know, at one point or the other, they will think that they can, they can suppress us by bringing in, you know, their heavy load weapons and machineries and all that to come and, you know, detain. Irole uh, passe. Right? Chief Sunday Gowo's house is currently uh, being sieged by the federal government of Nigeria as I speak to you right now. So if you'll just join us, this is a live transmission coming all the way from southwest in Nigeria, Soka, precisely, where the federal government of Nigeria is currently operating with their military outside. Uh, you know, and we know uh, Please try to video them. Oh, no, 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 don't worry about video them. You can hear the sound of the gun outside. You know, we don't have to video them. The, you know, the situation is ongoing. It's very tense, as I speak to you. Uh, but attack by, attack by, withhold it. We can withhold it. And we're not going anywhere. This is not then. This is a different thing entirely. And there's no way that uh, a situation like this, that the governor of a state, the governor of the state cannot say to me, that he is not aware that the federal government is coming to invade Chief Sunday Igbo's house. Chief Sunday Igbo's house is not just an ordinary house that you can come and invade. He's fighting for his people. He's crying that his people, the Yorubas, are living in a very, very difficult situation. And he says, you cannot continue to kill us. The Fulani that you have brought into the country from Niger, from Chad. And you know, what you Ah, learning. Let it be considered. Ah, let travel. Let it be considered. What kind of life is that? We cannot continue to live in fear because the federal government, you know, wants to control every one of us. You brought all these, you know, you know, uh, you know, people from the from the Mali, Chad, into Nigeria to come and create havoc. And this situation that is happening is currently, you know, uh, ongoing. As I speak to you right now. You could be hearing the sound of the gun. That is what the federal government thinks they can do. You know, people, because they have, they have the gun in their hands, you know, send circulars, you know, platforms. You know, we keep bo bo our, our warriors were copy for security. I send messages, you know, on platforms were across the network. So, but like I said to you, uh, the situation right now means that um, it is still very tense. Ocean Bono Lower Lower, Toba no Bono Yeruku, a own Bononi, a Boba Jepa Dura Lomoshi, Woman Shadura, Bo Babala, who edit day, Bo Bo, who lead the day, Bo Boa Fire the day, in Ton Shell, Lower Lower, Ili Baba Chief Sunday, Bo, Ibeni, and one Ijobasoke, Ibeni Concon Laroy, and they are outside, 
the situation is still very tense and uh, we are sending this message to the international community that she ti ri pe je je wa la joko nisin ti e fi wa wole wa ba wa e nti oju yin ba de ri oju yin ri na ni e so you know so in to ju yin ba ti ri o ri na ni e so you know please eh eh so currently as i speak to you right now uh there is a ongoing situation where the military and those that have been sent by the federal government to come and either pick Chief Sunday Gbowo or to come and arrest him or to come and arrest some of us inside with him as well. Our Duro Kwe Lubabawa. Our Duro Kwe Lubabawa. Gbowo Network. Every WhatsApp group, you need to send a message across to every WhatsApp group that as I speak right now, that there is an ongoing situation exactly. in Chief Sunday Gbowo's house where the military is trying to invade that premises, uh, you know, with his family and his, uh, his team, as I speak to you right now. The federal government is currently, we are sending a message across to the whole world that Chief Sunday Gbowo's house is currently under siege by the federal government of Nigeria, uh, trying to arrest him, we don't know, trying to kill him, we don't know, but as you can hear, there's a lot of gun fights that is currently ongoing where the federal government is using you know the same money that has been made from nigeria to come down and decide that they can kill or take him away right now this is the situation east is live and the time now is exactly just about one minute to 3 a.m monday 26th of april and this is a live transmission of what is happening currently right now as i speak to you presently uh, the situation is very tense outside uh, you know, the situation is very hot outside. Uh, in terms of the numbers of those that the federal government have sent, uh, we will be giving you account of that. But right now, the situation right now is very, very tense, as I speak to you in Soka, Ni Ili Babawa, Chief Sunday Igbowu, where the federal government wants to arrest him because he's speaking truth to the power. He's telling them that we cannot continue to be part of Nigeria. Nigeria is not working, and everybody knows that. We cannot continue to live in denial. We cannot continue to live in fear because of people in the northern part of the country, the Aousa Fulani. They are the minority. They are the minority. And the minority cannot suppress the majority. Our majority. Our Yoruba Gongoni majority. Our Kone majority. They are not majority. They are the minority. And the minority is what they want to do right now. Only last by baby by now. Sorry, by our life. A mouth they could use in two one in camera now. Um, we have to protect all our teams that are working tirelessly. We're going to more Said, so that's fine. Said can stay behind me. But those all of our team, we cannot show their faces as we speak right now. But the current situation as we speak to you right now is the federal government of Nigeria have now said that Ali defend Arawa because they bati kugwabawa. We have to defend ourselves, but we are sending message across all the network, every single group. You need to put a message in your group. There is an emergency, and everybody must be for it. Send message to the WhatsApp group. As I speak to you right now, the federal government have unleashed their own weapon on us, and we will do justice and defend ourselves. We will defend ourselves according to the international law. Because we don't have a law that we are following in Nigeria. The law is already void. The law that we are following in Nigeria is currently void. That means, as uh, Yoruba people, we are not following that law. But right now, they have, uh, they've sent their military, uh, their navy, all their security experts from wherever. They have also supported them as well. And one thing I will continue to stress, the state governor will not say that he is not aware of the situation. He is the chief security of this state, in your state. And Sheyima Kinde must have been told, must have been briefed, must have been hint that the Chief Sunday Igbo's house will be invaded at exactly 26th of April 2021. The time now is exactly two minutes past 3 a.m. The situation is still very tense as I speak to you right now as we are reporting live. The situation is still ongoing as I speak to you right now. If they think that they can arrest, kidnap, or try to do the other way around to Chief Sunday Igbo, it is not too late because... This time around is different from back then. We've said it so many times. We will do what is meant to do. We will defend ourselves. We will do everything. But it's not just ourselves. We are also sending a message to every Yoruba land now 
that the situation has changed in the last one hour. The federal government have brought the war on horse. The war has been in their own side, but they've decided to bring the war. What it be, war in Wabawa, the Ojule Sojule, and that is why we are saying that we will continue to tell them that we are not backing down. If they think that they can threaten, you know, Chief Sunday Igbo from not talking, you can suppress him, you can use the military to come and harass him. If they think this is an harassment, you have actually sent your military to come down and do the, you know, what have been planned to come down to his house. You cannot come down to his house at 3 a.m. There is no invitation that you can say this is the time. Uh, you, know, uh, you know, for those of you that do not know, the time now is just uh, almost 3.03. 3.03, Loshelu, right? 3.03 a.m. This is not, uh, you know, afternoon or morning, but this is 3 a.m., right where the federal government have sent people to come down and either do whatever they want to do with Chief Sunday Igbowu resident. Chief Sunday Igbowu's resident is still currently on the siege, as I speak to you right now. The situation is very tense outside, uh, but all I can say is he is doing very well. His family is doing very well. The team is doing very well. And as you can see, I am still reporting back to those of you that are far away and those of you that are also inside the Southwest. Currently, I will say to you right now, this is something that we need to wake up now. Beef up all the security across the network, whether you are in Ogun State, whether you are in Lagos, whether you are in Oshun, in Ondo, send a message to your WhatsApp group and tell them that currently, as we speak right now, there is an ongoing situation. If you are not sharing the broadcast, unless somebody knows, you might be putting them in danger because we don't know what is happening currently in the other state as I speak to you right now. Send a message right now to those of you in different groups. Let them know that there's an ongoing situation. There's a siege, as I speak to you right now, behind this 45 building of Chief Sunday Igbo's residence. This is the current situation. This is what is happening. And we are also using this to send a message to the international community. We are sending a message to the United Nations. We are sending a message right as well. Please do not call my number. Do not call my number at this particular hour. We are not picking any call. There's no point calling me. Whatever you want to hear, stay on the broadcast. You will hear so. Do not call. Please. This is not the time for you to call and disturb a live transmission that is going on at a very, very situation as I speak to you right now. What we are saying to the European Union, what we are saying to EU, African Union, what we are saying to every international community and all the ambassadors across the network living in Nigeria, that right now, Someone that wants to fight for his people, someone that is defending his people, the federal government have now brought the war right on his doorstep. In Tonshele, currently, is what I'm telling you. The federal government if sent their own bulldozer. They are currently outside, you know, operating. But we have also doing justice and defending ourselves. Because we have the right, Abibeko, we have the right to defend ourselves. We have the right to protect ourselves. And we will use whatever we have. Bukbuntabani, patakpata. Bugbuntabani, a Gegebio Mokaro Jiri, a Bugbuntabani, Lamafi defend Arawa because we will not allow them to do the on, on uh, you know, the, the avoc that they've been sent. And I'm sure a situation like this, let us make it clear. What they've done is they've sent people uh, to come down to kill. It's as simple as that. You cannot come down at 3 06 a.m. and tell us, Bewakiwa, you kiki woni, Chewakiwa lo runi. Chabi money, Aban Shekumo, Aban Shaye, the Fuadi Penny Ago, Ago, Meta, Olu, Ne, a war round one yawa, in their numbers, Abibeko, in their numbers, to come down and do avoc to Chief Sunday Igbo's house, his residence. And this is his own private residence. This residence does not belong to the federal government, does not belong to the state governor. And the state governor must be aware of the current situation as I speak to you right now. Because we oh. think in the state that the state governor does not know. The state governor is aware of what is currently happening right as I speak to you right now. But we are also saying that we need to tell the whole world that the situation is still ongoing as I speak to you right now. Once again, my name is Olayo Mikoiki and we are reporting live from the residence of Chief Sunday Igbowu where the situation is still very, very tense. Uh, but again, every single Yoruba sons and daughters, especially those of you at home, let us. No, no, no.
let us continue, you know, to protect. Kilo challenge. So let us continue, you know, to uh, send a message across every WhatsApp group. Let us send a message to every WhatsApp group that there is an ongoing siege right now as I speak to you. There is a current siege that is going on. Uh, and once again, my name is Ola Yomikoiki. Uh, Chief Sunday Igbo is fine. I can tell you that. It's currently fine. But the situation is that uh, we are sending this message as usual to the federal government that um, you cannot threaten us. You haven't threatened the Fulani terrorists that have kidnapped so many Nigerians. You have not stopped the Boko Haram. You have not stopped the terrorists from operating in Nigeria. But you want to stop somebody that is speaking on behalf of his people. All the Boko Haram that you brought into the country and they are now creating havoc across the whole part of the Yoruba land, the Igbo land, and the rest of the, you know, the, you know, the country as well. You haven't done any justice to them. Billions of dollars that you have all stolen to have saved Nigerians' lives. You refuse to do justice to that. But you now want to use your military might to think that that will stop this agitation. That will make Chief Sunday Igbo, you know, to back down. This will make Chief Sunday Igbo, you know, to, to, to become scared. Scared of the federal government. You cannot do, do as well. Yes, uh, you know, I'm just seeing somebody. Uh, yes, you're right. You know, just under some few days ago, um, more life, no really. There's an ongoing situation right now. So, situation. There's an hold on. Hold on for hold on for life. No life. Hold on. Sorry. I move, move far away. So once again, uh, the ongoing situation at Chief Sunday Igbo's resident, as I speak to you right now. Uh, if you're a Yoruba man, a Yoruba uh, man, woman, I will also say it's time for us to just beef up a little bit uh, wherever we are. Beef up a little bit. Uh, you know, increase your security, as I speak to you right now, across all the Yoruba land especially those of us that are agitating to say no to the situation in Nigeria uh, right now. The time now is 10 minutes past 3 a.m. Uh, you can't get a visitor that wants to come and visit you. So, don't, don't press it, just press it from so this is the situation that is currently ongoing. Am I being no ANT and we were telling doing Oriola Yomi Koiki because we had the call that I had to pick. That call was a very urgent one. But anybody should, should not call us as I speak right now. If you have to call us, speak to uh, your group. You know, share the broadcast into your group. This is still ongoing situation. The situation is very tense as I speak to you right now. The federal government have sent every uh, force to come and shut down Chief Sunday Igbo's resident. They think that by doing so, uh, that will create panic. Uh, we will get scared, uh, you know. No, no, no. And then we will, we will be, we will be, we will be scared. No, no, no. We have gone past that stage already. The stage of us and the federal government means that we are saying that we don't want to be part of this country. We want a total Yoruba self-determination. Nothing more than that. We are not interested. Uh, and as a spokesman for Chief Sunday Igbowu, I am telling you currently. This is the ongoing situation right now, uh, you know, and the, the, the situation started just at about almost, uh, about almost an hour ago, right, roughly now. And the situation is still very, very tense as I speak to you. So that means the federal government knows what they want to do. The federal government knows that, you know, by bringing their own security, by bringing their own military, they might use that to shut every one of us and then everybody will just run away. Of course, I know. You know, the, the team are working tirelessly, I can tell you that. Uh, we have a dedicated team that are working. My job is from the media side to report the situation, and that is what I'm doing. The rest of the team are doing their own part. Everybody's playing their own part. Everybody is playing their own part. No one should call us. We are not interested to pick any call right now. 
the situation is what you can hear now. Any other situation, we will update, but right now is an ongoing situation, and we need to allow the camera to continue to roll. We are streaming on all our platforms. Uh, if you have just joined us, send a message, especially in your WhatsApp group. Let your WhatsApp group know that they especially those in the southwest, because I can't tell what is happening in Lagos right now because we are not in Lagos. We don't know the situation, what is happening in Ogun State. Uh, there was a peaceful rally yesterday uh, where we took out our rally across E4. So that means we don't know what is happening in every Yoruba network, especially those that are agitated. So it is important that you wake somebody up right now. Wake your neighbor up right now, especially those at home, so that they can beef up. They know what to do. They know the right thing to do, but you need to wake them up now because illuminate is soon. To the NT, uh, but the situation, as I speak to you right now, right at the residence of Chief Sunday Igbowo, we have the military and every security that have been brought down by the federal government, you know, either to, you know, to do uh, whatever they think they can do, you know. I'm sure you all know what they can do. They want to do something. You can't send people to come out and visit us almost 40 minutes past 3 a.m. That is the ongoing situation right now. The situation is still ongoing. Uh, the federal government of Nigeria have decided now that it is time now to arrest. It is time now to, you know, to maim. It is time now to kidnap, you know, Chief Sunday. They've done this already so many times. We've told you that. But each time we come live and discuss this, people think, oh, you know, Sean Winikoni, when he was making his way to Lagos, he had DSS, you know, and the operation burst and the military stopped his vehicle. We saw what played out. The, the, the government cannot deny that. We saw also that his mother's house was invaded. We saw that as well. They sent people down to his mother's house. We saw that. We saw unknown soldiers. The federal government denied and said, oh, I'm a warrior. We don't know all those soldiers. And, they, you know, when they came down very close to his premises. But right now, there is an ongoing situation. There's a lot of gunshots happening as I speak to you right now. We've been able to, you know, pin them down. Uh, but uh, the situation is still ongoing as I speak right now. You need to wake somebody up in your WhatsApp group. You need to let them know, especially those in Nigeria, that the situation right now is the federal government of Nigeria is unleashing a lot of havoc, as I speak to you right now, you know, to Chief Sunday Igbo's resident. You know, we've been able to also do what we have to do to defend ourselves. But currently, as I speak to you right now, this is an ongoing situation. The situation started about an hour ago, and this situation is still going on as I speak right now. My name is Olayemi Koiki, and we are reporting live from the Southwest Chief Sunday Igbo's resident, where the military have been sent down to create havoc. And that havoc is what they wanted to do. But because uh, we are also people that are alert, you know, you can see that they thought maybe every one of us, Amasu, Adibeko, all of Amasu. You know, a lot of us have been sleeping, but this time around we are saying, you know, they'll come back again and say, oh, no, 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 I'm a warrior. That is all lies. That is a lie that we would not tolerate every now and then. You cannot continue to say, I want to be There's a lot of gunshot that is happening, you know, that's about some, you know, uh, you know, meters away from us. And that is an ongoing situation as I speak to you right now. Chief Sunday uh, is doing very well, I can tell you that, but his resident is still under heavy security right from Ibadan, where we are reporting from today, Monday, 26th of April, 2021. The time is exactly 3.16 a.m. As I speak to you right now, Chief Sunday Igbo's house is currently on a heavy security by the federal government that has those security, uh, you know, to... Do whatever they think that is, uh, is something that they can do, you know, either to shut him down, either to arrest him, either to, you know, you, uh, we don't know. But um, the current situation is what we are still dealing with right now. Uh, you know, one thing we can say is uh, Nigeria, we've said it before, is at the verge of breakup. We have told you that there's a war coming. You know, we are Yorubas. We wanted to go out of country peacefully. But the federal government does not want us to go peacefully. They want to fight us. They want to kill as many people. They want to shut down as many people. They're probably looking for so many of us, you know, thinking that, you know, I'll be about to capture one about to move and they all, no, you cannot do so because this generation, we've told you so many times, this generation is completely different from the previous generation. And what previous generation were more scared of you, the people in the north and the Fulanese. We cannot be scared of you. 
we cannot be scared of you at no point. We cannot be scared of you because you have created the havoc that has made millions of Yoruba people to live in abject poverty. You have created the havoc that have allowed Yoruba people to live in fear. You have created the havoc that have allowed millions of Yoruba people to be living you know, in the abject poverty. And what we are saying is, we are no longer interested to be part of Nigeria. We don't want to be part of Nigeria because Nigeria has never worked. And this is when we are saying that Nigeria that has not worked, let us go out of our way. Let everybody go. Let the North stay on their own. Let the South stay on their own. Let the South stay on their own. Let the whole shit old country breaks apart. The 1914 amalgamation has already failed. It is no longer working. It was set up by people that we don't know. And we are now saying that, you know, these contractions that you've joined together has done more damage to millions of people. More people have died for your own negligence. More people have been, you know, have been killed because this unit, this union that was joined together, is not working. This country is not working. It's as simple as that. Is it a force to be part of Nigeria? We don't want to be part of Nigeria. We are not interested to be Nigerians. We are Yorubas. And we cannot do that to come and invade and threaten us within our premises. You cannot threaten us within the Yoruba land. You cannot threaten every Yoruba sons and daughters. This is not going to be possible. Call it possible. Call it possible. The worst case scenario is the, if there is no Yoruba territory, there is no Nigeria. It's as simple as that. You know, it is not. If there is no Yoruba territory, if you are in any WhatsApp group, please wake somebody up, especially those that are working tirelessly. You know, right as we speak right now, circulate all the messages and tell them there's an ongoing situation. There's a siege. Let me use that word. There is an ongoing siege at the residence of Chief Sunday Bowo's house. The time now is 19 minutes past. We've been streaming for almost an hour. That means the situation started just as I went live, you know, uh, you know uh, bringing the broadcast to those of you that are far away, you know, in different parts of the world. We are live on different platforms. And this is not a script. Right now, there's an ongoing siege that is taking place right there. They haven't gone to the uh, Sambisa forest. I want your Lord G. They have students that have been kidnapped in, in, uh, in uh, Kaduna. They have Yoruba that have been kidnapped. None of them is doing anything. But rather, they think that by bringing their heavy load, their heavy security down to Chief Sunday's uh, you know, resident, that would then make him frightened. He would just run away. You know, he would be scared and leave the air. Eh? No, I call it work. No, I call it work. I call it military today. I call it work. I say, Yoruba, I'll be careful. I'm going to work. 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 Even yes, is it, you know, yesterday, you know, we were, we were receiving report about the, um, uh, about what is happening in terms of uh, Efumini. You know, the, you know, we can't continue to live in denial. Uh, 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 can you walk it up? Walk it up, please. Nico Fani, E.T. and Lo Nile. Hello, Mo. What do? 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 Let me walk it up, please. Walk it up, please. Walk it up, please. No, no, not that one. He told Jed, the general one. From the name of that one. So, we cannot continue to live in denial. We cannot continue. We cannot continue to live in fear because of people that are the minority. Right? Mm. You know, we can't continue to live in fear. We can't continue to live in denial. We cannot. Go possible. For how long must we continue to say, because, you know, we, we, we want... So, we can't continue. Eh? And then we will continue to live in denial and, you know, Ama Beru. So that, eh, then keep quiet. And we, you know, I'll keep quiet. We are not going to keep quiet. We can't continue to live in fear as Yoruba people. This country is not working. It's as simple as that. There's no, there's no two ways around it. The country is not working. And we are saying that let us, you know, you know, make the, 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 the peace to break it away peacefully. But if you don't want it to break away peacefully, then it will have to be, you know, the other way around. It's as simple as that. We can't continue to talk about diplomacy, diplomacy. This diplomacy has been discussed for years, for decades. For years. For years. 
So, in Timon Sonipe, the situation as we speak right now, Chief Sunday Bowo's house is under siege. It's under siege by the federal government of Nigeria. You know? I'm not about to finish, as I we need a lot of these. But uh, we say walkie talkies, you know, satellite phones. If they decided they want to disconnect these now, we still need to be able to reach out to the world. But we are, work, we are doing a lot of things behind the scene. But the Yoruba nation now we cannot stop that. In yet late, Okototi Shini Yoruba nation, Okototi only see what you could say, but I say, you could have, could have, most of you, Keloko, Keloko, Buba, Monti, and any chart, Nimali, Keloko, or Okototi Shini. We have moved. The Yoruba nation vehicle has moved, but right now there is a security siege. I want federal government to run, I want boo, I want boo dogs, and that is uh, other NBT boo dog, Balo, Tobalo, Tobalo, Shilewo, boo dog, Toba Shilewo, in Toba Ba, eh, eh, when I got to Shikini, eh, when I got to Wale Tekun, a yellow fifty when he to repay Jaja Wala Joko, Jaja Wala Droni Vitawa. And this is the time now that we are saying to every one of us, the country is going down, is going in flames. Here is the program. Koiki, I might take a jagun. If you are jagun, she will talk about what we are going to do. Have you been there? Eh, eh, eh. Koiki, I might take a jagun. I might take a jagun. You might talk about what we are going to do. I might be no Baba me David Hamilton, but take me there. Come we, you know, I couldn't pick the call, but my uh, band sorry, mama pick me, me But uh, we want to have the camera rolling live because I'm on four different cameras, you know. But the situation is still ongoing as I speak to you right now. It's been going on now for the last one and a half hours. And the question is, she governor state man no woman nipe. She governor state oh man no woman. She she imak in anything. I know what what so far what what call to bad around this. What my issue press statement to Lori Buruku. Eh, mama issue press statement. And now we're going to Eh, on no soldier, on no soldier. Come on, now let him know. Like, eh, to buy a pair of shirts on this don't move. Eh, on no soldier, ni lo lo she jamba fu ya fella. Abi be ako, abi go wati bagbe. The same thing. Emu leta wasile. Ah, ba leta lo wanyi. Be she pa dele gwa niye. So this time around, it is not going to be, uh, you know, as what you think. If you think that our come I come mama won't you know so coco guani see oh gun ta 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 there's a lot of gunshot still taking place but we've been able to push them back a little bit. We've been pretty able to push them back. Eh you're bad ni I call my wale I call it wale bang. Eh the wale bang but in too important every one of the Yoruba sons and daughters, this is the ongoing situation. Tabale wale bai, I be back or if you wale. Eh, keko wale keko baby, kema rulo, eh, keko baby, oja keko baby, oja keko baby, oja keko baby baby, oja keko baby toy. Beba te wa baby baby wa wa ni duro, wa eru kwa masalo ni. No, we are with him. We will stand firm with him. We are with Chief Sunday Bowo twenty four seven, twenty four seven. Mla mi pele onshiri. We will stand with him. We will stand with the family. We will stand with the you know with the whole family as we know. So. Toba ni won eh toba ni awon fe ka ka lo ni eh ni ti diplomacy diplomacy is not working after that so yet pe but the yoruba believe that we can do diplomacy che che fulani ni se be ba wa se diplomacy loko soja wole wa ba wa emi bi yin ni o e je ka se ri diplomacy e je a ma sign petition che oro petition ron to wa le ni sin che oro petition o ron to wa ni le ni sin che diplomacy ron to wa ni le ni sin eh and that is why we are saying that you know, let us just go, go. Toba pe dogun ko dogun. Eye masokwe eye. Toba dogun. Eh, chamo. Ogun ko la tete chale. Ba edisi don't see what ta 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 ta. Eh? Ogun eti de. So di ba odi ba ti. Oba wogbo bo le yoro ba ton. Tok pa gbo ba ton le ma moko. There's. I told you there's already war in the country. Last last year. Go back and look at my broadcast on the October 21st. 21st kolo pa omo ye. And we are already operating on a full moon. I can see the full moon. In Koma Ale, only pay oh full moon lawa, full moon lawa. So in Tobaye Koye, full moon lawa. Eh, Nino Ramadan, Abibeko, 
I told you last year, go back and review one of my video October 21st. I declare war on October 21st in the afternoon at one of our broadcasts at 12 p.m. I declare war. But some of you don't believe that it's war. SMP because eh, 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 and one Nigeria and Jade. Oh, good to one on Nigeria already. Because as you wale and Jade, I want to laugh and not to wale to Jade, I want to let Jade, I want to come. What's on Eddie Gusumu? What on Suho and Jinny? Sugamu. Sorry, that's all. But who bama Yoruba? What? Hello, me. Hello, me. Poverty of the Jacoro no more. Poverty of Jacoma Yoruba, Mikoro no more. But currently, if you have just joined us, we have the military uh, and all their security apparatus that have uh, laid siege. It's an ongoing situation. Uh, we've been able to pin them down, you know, to far away, but there's still ongoing situation. Diplomacy cannot work. Nigeria is not a diplomacy country. I will say, they want to keep us together, and we are not interested to be kept together. You are not, we are not interested. Hey, 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 Joe. voice here. So, Christian Solo, if 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 you say actually diplomacy, okay, diplomacy now. What I want to go about anything? Say anything. Talk about go about anything. Kafu, kaka was okay. Ko ankop, ko ko makowa lo. Then laughter won't loru. So, and tofu wa ja, tofu wa ba ya loru. Ko 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 ti prepare. Say what ti prepare? What ti prepare? One more time, she. You know, and this is why we are saying that let us go. But because people are still, you know, thinking that you know, on the all those all those fraudulent network. You believe all those nonsense. Nigeria is gone already. The, 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 the leverage of poverty in this shit old country. The poverty to what nibi by but because a lot of us are living in denial, if they can bring all their you know, security right now to Chief Sunday Bowo's house, what about those that don't have the means? Think about that. Think about that. Eh? Think about that. 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 Eh? Think about that. Think about that. Think about that. Chief Sunday Bowo ni le, awon ti wo ni to loruko bi Chief Sunday Bowo nko. Nje ti ronu be. Eh? Nje ti ronu be. Se bo te loruko, awon ti wo loruko nko. And this has been the injustice happening every day. Awa de maduro de baba yan maduro ti ton patapata. We will stand with him. We are not going anywhere. We will stand with him because he says he does not want to be part of this shit old country called Nigeria. And that is the same position that we all stand as well. That is the same position. Position that we are not interested to be part of Nigeria. Nigeria is not our country. Nigeria is not our country. Nigeria belongs to the North and the Fulani and some shit old Yoruba politicians that are licking their ass. And we are not ready to lick their ass. We are not interested. So if you have just joined the broadcast, as I speak to you, there's an ongoing situation of a siege by the federal government and their military might. Still currently, you know, as I speak to you right now, you know, and this is exactly now 3.31 a.m., Monday 26. Monday 26. So if they think that you know I rabba wa eta baba gbe bonde pa 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 iyan wa je ki gugu asale eh eh no 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 that's nonsense that is too late it is just too late to say that what we are saying is enough is enough the yorubas are not interested we can have some yorubas that wants to be part of nigeria let them relocate to the north let them relocate to the north let them relocate to the north but our is supposed to, we will stand on our feet. This situation started almost an hour and a half ago right now. An hour and a half ago, they said, you know, we, 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 we saw them coming, but they thought we were sleeping. And we looked at this one, it's about soon, and we call Bewa Lodu, Bebe Bewa, and Bebe Ko, Uru Lawa soon. But what I forgot to understand is, the same way, that one was saying, Ronu, 
Awati Runu 20 times more than that. We are not going to back down. If they like, let them reinforce. We are not going to back down. But the situation is still ongoing right now. We've been able to push them back. We've been able to push them back. But the federal government of Nigeria wants to kidnap, wants to arrest, wants to maim Chief Sunday Igbowo and the rest of those that are behind him as well. And that is why we are saying for those of you that have uh, you know, because I don't know what the situation is in Kwara as I speak to you right now. We don't know what the situation is in Lagos. We don't know what the situation is in Ogun State. But please wake up some of your WhatsApp group. Start disturbing them and telling them to be more prepared as we speak right now. Tell them to wake up now. Tell everybody, especially on Towa Nili, because we cannot reach everybody in one go, but a message has been circulated across different platforms. You can also do the same thing. Send a message right now. Leave the broadcast and send a message into your group that there is a siege that is currently ongoing. We don't want anybody to call us. Don't call my number. There's no point calling because we're not going to pick up your call. But send a message right inside your group and tell the world, those inside that group, to wake up now that there's a current siege going on at the southwest in Soka at exactly 3.34 a.m., almost an hour and a half ago. So if they think that, you know, they can use, you know, the, the, the sound of guns to threaten us, it is too late. You can't use the sound of guns to threaten us because that is not going to work at this particular time. So also, as a quote, Tigbu Buwama did detoni lei. On she kwe yen, e o tuwa detoni si nyo, e on koma salo. No, ama a jod duro ton, ni to ri kwe, as a kwenye ta ansonye, bi o ti fe de ni, bi o ti de ni. But we cannot be threatened. Chief Sunday Bobo cannot be threatened. We cannot tolerate and allow, you know, the shit old federal government to believe that they can threaten Chief Sunday Igbowu. No, you cannot threaten him. He cannot be threatened. He have the right to decide whether he wants to be part of this shit old country called Nigeria. He has the, to the total right. He has the right. He's a Yoruba man, just like myself and millions of Yorubas. And we are more than enough to determine our fate. We cannot allow few corrupt Yoruba politicians to decide the fate of millions of Yorubas. We cannot allow the, the shit old politicians that sit down in the House of Representatives, in the Senator and the Governor in the state to decide the life for us. We cannot tolerate that. We cannot allow that. More Nigerians, more Yorubas have been picked up. Tawani, Tawani Forest, Nisi. Tawani Forest. We cannot allow that. We cannot allow that. And that is something that our politicians must understand. You are just going to create more problems for yourselves. Because I want to pay law, and you pay law for your own selfish gain. Is Nigeria working for everybody? Is Nigeria of today working for everybody? Check Bobo Yoni, Nigeria and Shishefu. Is Nigeria working for everybody? Nigeria is not working for everybody. So why should we be part of Nigeria? Why should we? A country that only works for few, only few. Back with our own social light, I want air light, I want kinikon light. You roll body, fix common light. You cannot fix light for 60 years. Fix electricity. You refuse to fix electricity. Che, you don't fix electricity. Lafe mabasheni. Fix borehole water. There's no borehole water. Make light meaningful for the people. You refuse to do so. And then they say, I want animals. animals. Right? Brought down all these jihadist fighters into our land. What we are carrying, don't kidnap our own. Lost on Loru every day. What did you have built? Eh, eh, Malu Joko, Kinikon Joko. She saw the border and the Leo Shento Yakama Balo. Let's put a full stop to it. In Yellow One Round, one military. If you are, if you are, if you are kidnapped, Abby, I bet you are. Call it Battle in Los Abuja. I be so tabo, tabo, I day, and the Bama Cononi lay. I be, I call it delay, I call it. And all that we are matter, they want to show no rule. Be very cool. Near exactly 3:37 a.m. This is 3:37 a.m. Eh? Yeah? A, a messed up country that should have that should have worked for Nigerians with all the resources to Alabe, the sixth largest crude oil producer. We cannot even produce palm oil. Messed up country. We are not going to be part of Nigeria. Our war need to be part of Nigeria. Toba fe dogun ko ya dogun. Toba fe dija ko dija. And we are going to stand firm 
you cannot threaten us with your with your heavy security. That is just too late. In Tamashe Puni, Awala Mo, Abibeko, to repay Ewa Bawa Ninu Lewani, Inu Lewale to Abawa Nissi, and we would defend, a little in short, we would defend ourselves with whatever we can use to defend ourselves. It's just as simple as that. We would defend ourselves, and we know what to do. But we are saying that enough of this nonsense, enough of this atrocity, enough of this injustice, enough of this, you know, evil that has been done by so many minority against majority. Minority, you know, who are the Fulanese? I was a Fulanese. I want a majority, you I'm not the majority now. They are not the majority in this country. So why then must they say that we must keep Nigeria together for their own selfish gain? Why then? Why then must we? We are doing what we have to do to pin them down. But as I said to you, there is still an ongoing situation right now, you know, at the residence of Chief Sunday Bowo, where the, you know, the, you know, the, the, the federal government bulldogs Things that they can just come in, you know, in the middle of the night. Eko wole lo ru, abi. I want to tell you about lo ru yen. I want to sun. Abi beko, eri pa sun. Eri po nuwa lo juwa. Baba te sun. Ama sun. Ama wa sun asun para. Ama wa ama sun asun para. Abi beko. You cannot stop this movement. This movement, you ni ajoto ti bere ni. Ani, ani, ani gumi. To lomba wong terrorist is oro. Lojo Jumo, eh, lo mood gumi, yanka kiri gobo le Yoruba, eh, only God, otu wasi le Yoruba, on, on negotiate on behalf of the terrorists. Abibeko, awo yewa ni be, ani boko aram, awo yewa ni be, akaida, awo yewa ni be, eh, rawo yelo pin, mole, ke lo masha isun, kwe lu woni sambisa forest. Ile baba wa chief, sonde gbo le wa fewa, abibeko, eh, ito ba shele, so ju yin, o shele ni ye, abibeko, ito ba shele, o shele, Toba ma di wala, kote te di wala. Eh? We have terrorists across our land, picking up our people, demanding ransom, 2 million, 3 million, 10 million, 15 million, I want some 15 million. No, she po she mama lo non le le, e yon mo yoruba. She po she mama lo non ni. Eh? She pa she, she ka, ka fisi le koma lo bai. It's just too late. The situation, we've been able to push them back. Uh, we've been able to push them back, but uh, if you're alive with us, you have to probably wait until after the end of the broadcast. You have been hearing a lot of gunshots. But at the moment, we have been able to push them back, and the uh, reinforcement as well is already on its way. If you are making your way down, uh, make sure uh, you also reinforce yourself, just as the Yoruba sons and daughters. Especially Eiti, Ewani, Bugwan, other states. This is also to beef up your security, uh, and I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Beef up all the security along your own network. Because currently, we don't know what the situation is in those states. And as you know, if they can come down into the close perimeter of uh, Chief Sunday Bo's house, we need to also be sending message. So that's why I said, a Losinu WhatsApp group, Kebara deliver a message. Kaiba deliver a message from Bugba on to one in the WhatsApp group. Wake them up. Let everybody wake them up. Wake them up. So, and this is an ongoing situation right now. Once again, uh, all the units on the other side here are all intact. Uh, but again, our unit outside this is what we are sending the message to. Our units right here are all intact. Chief Sunday Igbowo himself is in good position. Uh, likewise, his family and his, uh, you know, the wives and the network around him. But what we are saying is, we will not allow injustice that have taken place for a very long time uh, to to threaten us. This is not the time that they can threaten us. Eh, le threaten wa. All the guns that it born in broadcast is the federal government. That was the federal government bulldogs at the state. 
gbogbo ibon to dun ta 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 ti gugugugugu awon ibon to ko wa ba wa niyan awon AK47 to ko wa ba wa niyan ati gbogbo awon awon ibon la 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 to ko wa ba wa abi e fe wa fi gbe wa so for those have now been pushed back uh we've been able to push them back but the situation is still ongoing as i speak to you right now the time now is 3:43 so that means the situation has been going on for the last two hours. Lati bi waka ti meji ni bugbo ibe se ni tin shele. To ba da ro ni sin. A ona wama koko ni kwe iro le kwa. Bugbo yi kwata kwata. Bugbo yi yonma li politician. Kwata kwata le mo ni kwe. Bugbo yi kwata kwata. Bugbo yi yonma li politician. Konkon. Bugbo yi le mo ni kwe. Every single politician is aware of this. Especially the Yoruba politicians. But if you think that you can threaten somebody like Chief Sunday Gbowo by bringing machine gun and AK-47. If you want Kamole, if you want Pasi Nuleni, if you want Pasi Nuleni, if you want machine gun AK-47, don't do pa 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 ti 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 ti. If you want Pasi Nuleni Abi, eh? If you want Kamole Nuleni, you let Shinran want soldier wa, at the military, at the soldier, at the navy. You let Shinran want wa, if you want Kamole Nuleni Abi, eh? Eh, riboko aram, ti on se jamba, tu bobo bobo le yoru le Nigeria. Eh, ri wolo capture. Abi beko, e fi wa kamole kele kele kidnap e. Te ba rimu ke pa shoot outside. Abi beko. Abi beko, but we have been able to push them some meters away more, but we are still pushing them as you know, we are much we are pushing them back. So that means uh, you know the the whole environment, the whole area has gone a little bit quiet, but the situation is still ongoing, you know, further away from the fortified building of our father, Chief Sunday Igbowo. So if you think that they will come, you will come in the middle of the morning, you know. I invite you to come and Eh? And this is why I say it so many times on our broadcast, on all our shows. I believe that we should go force with them. Some say, say, no, let's do the diplomacy way. Diplomacy way. Say, UN, UN cares about us. Say, EU cares, Nipawa. There have been genocide going on across the country. But they've kept mute. As Muslims have been killed, Christians have been killed, none of uh, both religious that believe in their own ifa have been killed. Millions of Yorubas have been killed. Millions of Igbo have been killed. Millions of different tribes have been killed. 60 years. 60 years of nonsense. 60 years of shit o independence. She independent not near. Where a particular section of the country holds the nepotism, holds every position. Boba Lossi Port, I wanna be Bolossi migration, I wanna be every part I want to call it and people say we should we should we should continue with democracy. Say democracy no lanche. Say democracy lele tanche. Say democracy lanche. Eh? Democracy no lang pele. And this is why we are saying to every single Yoruba's sons and daughters still believing in this shit old country. If they can threaten, because for us, you know, this is not just threatening, but to also try to main Chief Sunday Bowo. This is what they want to do. We are talking about Mukuru or no. Eh, we are talking about Mukuru or no. Eh, is a Yoruba. We were our dake. Entirely Mugoni. A condato long dan niteli muni. A condato long dateli mu. A condato long dani. Or long lo da funre. Or long funare lo da. Iluti mosquito shin foka kiri. Eri mosquito. On the other screen, mosquito shin fuck a kiri, eh? Malaria and pawn on your car kiri, cholera and pawn on your car kiri. In 21st century, and a lot of people think, you know, oh, eh, 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 you mean, eh, the baba did the Yoruba, eh, eh, talu mama talu, talu me fi jelori, rode, oronunu. She na jira tawa wa ye, ye ni kadro sinu e, eh, you mean ama biri biri, ibiri okunu. I want your kukungu, I need to it's not the time to call. Please do not call. Do not disturb the broadcast. We leave the broadcast on as as as. But right now, the federal government of Nigeria have sent their soldiers 
and all their security apparatus to come and create a siege around our house. But we've been able to push them back, you know. All our politicians, the governors, the governor of the state, Shehima Kinde, cannot say to us he's not aware of the siege that is taking place right now. Because he is the first security. See, governor, I don't know more. That mistake is no longer the security chief of the state. It's as simple as that. Mm -hmm. If the governor wakes up in the morning with all their fuckery, you know, press statement and say, I'm a Kakanikwell, I'm a Kakanikwell, that mistake, governor, you're the chief security of the state because in Kongole Marshall, the governor's a common money pay. So, why important at this particular time in the history of our time? Because the governor has a common money pay. That mistake is no longer the chief security of the state. It's just as simple as that. Because Tobawa, Tobawa, Fewa, she siege, Biru, Kobai. See, governor, Basa, Pumwa, Monique. There is no point being the governor of the state. It's as simple as that. Ekushe. Ekushe. So, it's only Kwekini. And I have a patient in Nigeria. In your letter, you have a car, but our chief, Sunday, Bumole, if you are Kamole Abi, I can want you to walk alone. So, Tobawa, Kamole, and you are, and you are, and you are, hey, at the show, the show, she. Are you back? If you are Kamole, along the Funyishi, I want to only live the Funyishi. Go, go, I want to reside the Yoruba on the Funyishi. Go, go, in Conti, I get up in Sopo Yoruba, Niwa. Go, go, I want all Bawa, Tiwa, Soro. That's up in your person. Shenisi, Shenisi, Topa, I sell it on the sea. I'm a banani, I'm a Catonic Bell. I go to the Kamabu, Kafu, Mosile. Oria Deni won. But Oria Deni Soma. Go to the other money, see where I like today. Abi, a mere cuckoo, fenu me, Boba Mo, and I'm a Boba, if I'm a Baleo, or by under federal, under, under local government, low out. And the king of Okamakua is not a time that I want to pick any call. A Makwe is not the time. I want to be on the broadcast like this. Bubunte Bafi Bami so, when she knew Wakati, when she knew nothing about she broadcast to her important by as you continue on quick call a lay, as you could take a quick me call a lay, and to bank way, as you could take a mark, we call a lay. Because it's important that somebody like me is on the live broadcast and continue to report what the situation is happening to you all. We're trying to call. You are going to take our, you know, the broadcast away because if I pick the call, you are definitely also, you know, disturbing, you know, the broadcast. That was how I told you, you know, Team Wanikon. And, you know, we have the radio. You know, we're monitoring the situation. We've been able to push them back. So we've been able to push them back as well. But our sophomore way, enough is enough. Nigeria is not working. And we are telling the international community again that um, Chief Sunday Bowo's resident is currently at siege as I speak to you right now. They will come out and say, Oh, I'm a one year. So I want them to be here for the seven of Africa. I'm a one year. 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 I'm a one so, but what we are saying is, the situation is still tense. We've been able to push them, you know, back as well. Ekushe, we've been able to push them back. And once again, uh, just give me a minute. Billy. Okay. Yeah, I just program. God bless you. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, just before I bring the broadcast to an end, minute anybody, in just about a um, few minutes, let me say, I think the whole world knows that um, at about almost two hours ago, my name is Olai Obikoiki, I'm the spokesman for Chief Sunday Igbowo, and um, just about some two hours ago, we, we picked up a signal of the security that alerted the whole unit. And the unit was alerted because of the danger from the federal government that wanted to invade Chief Sunday Bowu's house. And what we are saying to the international community that you cannot come down to Chief Sunday Bowu's house at about four o'clock in the morning, either to invite him or to speak to him. This situation started just about two hours ago. Uh, the situation, as I speak to you, has been suppressed. It was a siege, and the whole world knows the meaning of a siege. You wanted to capture him, and if you cannot capture him, you probably want to kill him. And if you don't want to kill him, the question then is, ni almost 2 a.m., down to his resident, his private resident. This is not a government resident. Is his private resident where he has his family and the unit of those that are working with him. As I'm going to bring this broadcast to an end right now, I say once again, the situation has been, has been brought under control by the unit. But one thing I'll say to the international community again is, just as we have come out continuously to say that the situation of Chief Sunday Bowo is something that the international community must now look into. When from the United Nations, the European Union, the African Union, and the remaining G7 and G20, that this is a man that has now become a threat to the federal government. And the federal government are ready to do anything to take him out. The federal government wants to push everything in their own evil, genius agenda to make sure that Chief Sunday Bo will refuse to speak. And what he's fighting for is the justice for his people, humanity. He cannot continue to allow his family. When I say his family, the Yorubas are his family because he's a Yoruba man. He's not from another tribe. He's a Yoruba man and he's only fighting for his people. We will release a proper statement in the morning sent to the international community. But on this note, we'd like to keep this record that at 2 a.m., almost two hours ago, the federal government, as you can see, that's why I came out, so that you can know that it is still at the early hours of the morning, sent down their, their bulldogs to try to invade us and Chief Sunday Bowo. My name is Olayo Mikoiki, the spokesman for Chief Sunday Bowo. Have a very good morning. Goodbye, my move, Beshe. Okay. I'm going to move there. I'm going to move there. I'm going to move there.